We have come from a culture previously where things have been done to patients and in my mind that isn't right. Um, it's about us working in a team with the patients and their family members. You have to have the same approach but change in the ways you deal with each individual because everybody is unique and different. The job of a mental health nurse is to understand the person, understand their experiences and adapt the way that we behave and communicate in order to meet that person's needs. I guess what's consistent is their approach is non-judgmental. Um, so we use that, we call it a therapeutic sense of self. So we're alongside the person working with them no matter what the condition or the illness that presents itself. Part of the uh, underpinning principles of mental health nursing is to be able to deliver the holistic care and holistic care involves taking into account people's needs, circumstances and preferences and therefore once I identify what their needs are, I need to be able to be to have an understanding of what their preferences are and what their social circumstances are because all of these things can actually contribute to why they have developed a illness in the first instance or even make the illness worse. I think we, we always try and empathise rather than sympathise and I think to be honest I think that to go all the way through nursing and I, I think um, sometimes people's um, distress is caused through some of the choices they've made and that can go on into adulthood as well however some of the distress that is caused can be um, because of things that have just happened to these young people and, and the adults as well going back into their childhood. As human beings we're all very complex and likewise conditions even for each person might be slightly different and more complex so one person who's experiencing schizophrenia could be experiencing it very differently to another person who's experiencing schizophrenia. So we're constantly responding to and adapting the way that we communicate and the way that we uh, treat somebody according to what they're giving us. We might have a variety of approaches, lots of things in our toolbox, but what might work for somebody might not work for somebody else. So I think it, it's having a, an array of interventions that we can use, but using the right intervention for the right person at the right time. An 18-year-old might not understand as much as a 70-year-old understands despite it's the same condition. So you've got to adapt to every individual and work with the language that works for them. As I said, I worked in a prison and I met people from diverse cultural backgrounds, for example. So elements of their mental illness or disorder were influenced by their cultural backgrounds and I needed to take that into account. So their communication style might have been quite different. Their beliefs about mental illness might have been quite different. So I would need to think about the way that I interacted with that person. I think in the past there's been a real kind of us and them culture and we're doing things to them but actually even though sometimes we work with people as young as 11 they still know how it feels to be them and they can still communicate that sometimes it's really hard for them um, but it's really important that we're getting their points of view. But I think those fundamental values are important, the, um, being able to empathise and be able to be non-judgmental. Uh, when we hear some um, here's some stories from people which you know, aren't, aren't always easy to listen to.